Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? I am not sure. We had better be careful. Which way should we go, Holmes? Back. Hello. Hello. Alrighty then. Down we go. Looking for the golden knife. Ah, interesting. Okay. Also interesting. Whoop. I saw this symbol in the tunnels underneath the frigidarium. Did you? I did not. Which way should we go, Holmes? There ought to be some clues here. Let's take a look around. Uh huh. Uh, the sorting hat. Um, Japanese war fan. And, uh, hammer and, uh, sickle. Let's, uh, go with the Soviet Union. I saw this sim- I saw- I saw this- I saw- See, I did not. I saw- Okay, but it showed me this one, so I guess I'll go this way. There's a torch here. I guess I'll just follow the light. Though, who lit these torches is what I want to fucking know. Wait a minute. Who lit all these torches? Uh, wait a minute. Where did I go? Hmm. Getting lost. I don't actually remember seeing these symbols is the problem. Hello? Hello? Nope, not that way. Oh! Okay. That. Here we go. Rock, 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 rock. Scales? What am I trying to do? Okay, a lot of Indiana Jones shit going on here. Okay, got it. Hmm. Okay, so... Shit! Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, here we are back at the... This way? I have no idea where I'm going. No idea where I'm going. Okay. Oh, dear. Loop around back to the... Yeah, okay, there's, there's a gem room. Alright, so where's this... Panch... Panch branch off? Panch punch... Fucking damn it, I hate... <sighs> I have mild claustrophobia, this is not fun for me. Okay, okay, I'm back here again. Um, I wish to hell I'd been paying attention to where I was and where I just went. Oh, okay. oh my god, this sucks. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this. A lot of editing. Nope, that's it, Ben. <sighs> I have no idea where I'm going. Fuck! Downstairs? Now I'm in water. It's different, I think. Upstairs? Nope, it's the same. Bridge. Following the bridge that seemed to work last. Nope, never mind. Bridge does not work. I am so fucking lost. God damn it. Did I go in a circle? Yes, yes, I did. I did. I went in a complete circle. At least now I'm on a different floor. Well, Watson, thank you for coming that way and letting me know that this come this way goes around. Oh, shut up. Fuck you. At least you're telling me I'm not going the direction of progress. When in doubt, follow the crazy whispers. Am I back where I started? Cave in. Good. Yay! Solve the puzzle! And I'm totally in a fucking Uncharted game now. Yep. I am in Uncharted. Quick question, though. Why would a Roman thing have... Jungle Congo drums? What do you think, Watson? Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras? You know what? If we're not... It's the golden... 
Okay. Lantern. Someone's been here. This lamp is not old. The oil is still Semicolon. Fresh. Perhaps Sir Rodney passed by here. No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further than the catacombs underneath the frigidarium. The murderer left this lamp. So let's check it for fingerprints. Okay. Okay. Well, a blowtorch would solve this. Oh, there was the blowtorch back in the lab. I remember now. Well, let's, when in doubt, start pulling levers. Oh, sh not this Watch shit. Them, I need your help. All right. Okay, so it's a good thing we had two people here. Just uh, stay locked in there, Watson, and hope I don't kill you with one of these. Oh wait, no, 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 that was the one I wanted. Wait a minute. How the fuck are these lifting up? Okay, the pipe goes into that wall, I guess. Eh, alright. Okay, one of these will kill you, one of these will progress. Okay, well, now I can open that, but that doesn't let me get Holmes out. Let me see here. Okay. Now, Holmes, you let go. Okay, and now Watson, you open this one. And then I will grab this and unleash a horrible herd of undead. The golden knife of Mithras. A long lost relic has resurfaced. Watson, it is time to conclude this case. We should find another way of getting out of here. <laughs> Probably. Well, let's go let Watson out. Just leave him, actually. Huh. No, I'm look looks like I can't. Cause I'm, gonna need, I'm willing to bet the other lever is the way out. There's three here. Yep, I was totally right. Okay, but I need to actually let Watson out of the first section. Can I get out there? No. Okay, how about this one? 
Yes. Okay. And then we hit this one. This I would it's a very weird puzzle to have in a Sherlock Holmes game, but it's a welcome change from what we've been doing. At least this. And we do this. Very Tomb Raider um, Uncharted-esque, though. I, I, I've been saying Uncharted a lot in this playthrough, but you gotta admit. It really is. This mechanism seems inactive. What? Okay, how about this one? It's nice of them to have uh, built this whole place so that this exact setup will work. Very nice of them. Alright. Now try the other one. Let me in, please. There you. Thank you. Thank you, Watson. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? No, no, we are not. Okay, well, I have no idea where we came out, but... Oh, boy. Uh, I think it's time to start forming some conclusions. What's this one? Method, the silver knife. What's this? Valuable secret. Sir Rodney's secret was important discovery. A metaphorical bomb. He could use it as a powerful means of annihilating anyone who stood in his way. That that he alone might take the fame and the glory. Pinkerton's warriors. Pinkerton's felt very, felt rather uncomfortable with postponing the opening for the public of the Roman baths because of Sir Rodney. He was angry because of this. Pinkerton expects to, re to receive much of the value from Sir Rodney's research. The work will increase the bath renown and popularity. Uh, Binkerton's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney, but at a high cost to his morale. Binkerton's work was saved at the high cost of Sir Rodney, but he was thankful for the possibility of working together and the chance of learning from him. Garo's weakness. Garo is tortured and obsessed with the Mithra curse. He has been driven insane. Or he is on medicine and is a little bit off. Well, I don't think it was the ice, so. Unexplained clue. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of information to work with on this one. You found all the clues. I thought so. All right. Let me think. I guess it all just comes down to who I think did it. Garo's weakness. Garo's obsessed with the torture. Well. What is this one? Motive, paranoia. Garo's suffering was too great. After Sir Rodney's grand discovery, Garo lived in fear of the Mithras curse and so developed a heightening feelings of paranoia. Garo ice knife. What if I do this? Can I just use Garo's Silver Knife? Garo's Silver Knife. Alright. Time to put some thoughts into action. My thoughts are that, first of all, I'm going with the bloody ice idea. Now, Garo could have killed somebody. Send him to the asylum. He is a psychopath. We are unable to determine if his actions were deliberate, manipulative, or due to genuine illness. He needs to be put away for life. Send him to a sanatorium for appropriate treatment. He cannot be held responsible for his crime as he was under strong psychotopic effect of Sir John Wart. Of St. John's Wart. He may yet be cured. I don't know that it was Garo, though, because I don't think he would have the brains to do it. He's 
he doesn't strike me as firing all cylinders and the super like cleverly scary type. So we'll just say that he's he's a bit unwell. Now Blinker Torn now Blinkerhorn. Blinkerhorn's work saved the arrival by Sir Rodney, but at a high cost his morale. Blinkerton's work was saved. Blinkerton's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney. He was thankful for the possibility of working together, and the chance for learning from him. Hmm. It's hard to say. This guy seems the most likely of my suspects, though, because Pinkerton. Pinkerton feels rather uncomfortable postponing the opening of the public to the Roman baths. He was angry because of this. Pinkerton expects to receive much of value from Sir Rodney's research. The work will increase the bath's renown and popularity. Let me have a quick look here at my clue. At my, uh. Hang on. I need to have a quick. Okay, well, let's, do, let's stop here because I want to take a look at some of my clues here. Oh, no, not that. Specifically, some of the documents I'm looking at. Silver cast, ice knife. Okay. Neptune. Okay, the seven grades of Mithras. Oh, this is what I was supposed to follow to get to the place. Oh, okay. Oh, I just I just wandered around. Okay, uh, Lord. <laughs> I've actually heard that Lord. Uh, he who must not be named was actually the main villain in the Sherlock Holmes movie with uh what's his face uh I can't remember his fucking name Robert Downey Jr. um Lord uh, what's his face is actually the main evil guy so I don't think that our buddy boy here is uh where's our, where's our cast of characters here I want to take a quick look okay so here's our suspect. Tristram Gow is his early 30s. He suffers from severe my blah, blah, blah. Very disturbed, possibly due to the shock of seeing the murder, but that alone cannot, but not from that alone, as he's unshaved in his old dirty clothes. Pinkerton is a model of upper class. He's rich, well, respe well respected position. He considers it his birthright. Whatever he may have done, he certainly does not believe he should be in prison for it. Pinkerton, uh, he remained on the profession for 15 to 20 years. He still seems to enjoy it. This is a hard call between which one of these three guys did it. It's a hard call. Like, let me think. To Mr. Blinkerhorn from Pinkerton. Is there the interest that the interests that I represent require the situation of the bath to be changed for the better? The present time the figment excavation remains under your direction, and yet the work has not progressed. The frigidarium. I urge you to complete your work the next two months the remaining time. They have almost finished it. The date will go down in history. Report from the coroner. The right eyeball has been burst. Curses and believes. Okay, I think I've got enough information now. Here is my line of thinking. Garo's weakness. I don't think it was him. He just doesn't seem to have the kind of brain power to put together the whole ice knife thing. Although he did have the blood stain on him, but still. Now, Blinkerhorn. He seems to really enjoy his work, but he's the only one with the real motive right now. Blinkerhorn is, is, is a deceiving specialist who's aware that he is about to be cast aside for a major discovery. He will lose the chance of a lifetime. 
Blinkerhorn knew of Bencliffe's intention to take all the credit of the discovery of the Golden Knife. He devised a cunning plan to eliminate Bencliffe, and for this he deserves a rope. He, devo he, des for the yeah, he devoted his life to discovering the Golden Knife, and the credit was about to be given to the given was about to be stolen by Bencliffe. If he had been given the opportunity to claim ownership of his discovery, he would not have been killed. He would not have killed Bedcliffe. Pinkerton just, he's after money. And the discovery of the Golden Knife and all that stuff going on at the Babs, there's no reason why he would have killed him because he was bringing in him a lot more money. And they said, uh, what I keep thinking about was the discovery of the Lantern. Because that means that the murderer knows where the Golden Knife is. So the only two options are that either the golden knife was... Now wait a minute. If the guy knows where the golden knife is, and if he killed... What's this? If he killed the victim, then he could go back and then f discover the golden knife without having him take the credit for it. But no, wait, that doesn't make sense. Because if he already found the knife, the golden knife, before Blinker hold, hold, Wait a minute. That's not adding up. Okay, my original thought was that Blinkerhorn had, was like the only guy who had a real motive here, but... Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Because if Blinkerhorn... We know that Sir Rodney never found the knife. But someone did. If Blinkerhorn found the knife, that would be all he needed. He could just bring in the press, say, Oh, yo, look, I found the knife. I found the sacred thing. I didn't even need this guy's help. That could boost him up way higher than, than Sir Rodney. But if someone who was totally freaking out found out about the knife... Then they would think that they're not- and they have actually said that they're not worthy. Then he would make sure to kill whoever was on the line to find it. Huh. The guy had an interest in archaeology. He also would have found out the get about the glass plate. If he had found the glass found out about the glass plate, then he could have That's where he could have gotten the idea to make the ice knife. I found the blocks for the ice knife at the Roman dig, not at the baths. The archaeologist, Blinkerhorn, was only working on the baths, but Garo was, far, was following around Sir Rodney. That has to be it. I'm trying to think of any other way this could work. It has to be Garo. I'll be damned. Well, crazy guy goes to the asylum. Yeah. All guilty will be punished. That's the only way I can figure it going. That's it. I, I tried to think of any other way, but he's the only guy that it adds up to. I don't think anyone, everyone's going to agree with my moral decision here, but... Hey, crazy cultists need to be fucking put away, not saved. Mr. Garrow, the game is up. I see straight through you. You see straight... what? You have a decided talent in mind manipulation. We all believed your comedy. The... medication 
almost tricked me, I'll admit, but all of it was fake. The hallucinations, the hysteria. Mr. Garrow, you are a dangerous psychopath and a clever murderer. The method by which you disposed of the crime weapon... Oh my god! I, I killed him! It is no use to deny it. I despise cowardice in any form. What? What, what will you do with me? You will be sent to a medical institute, where you will receive the best treatment to facilitate your full rehabilitation. What the good Dr. Watson is trying to say is, life seclusion in a lunatic asylum awaits you. I would rather be dead! That is your choice. I think I fucked up. <laughs> oh! I was wrong! Oh, no! But that's the only way it adds up! That's what's the silver. Oh, I fucked up! It Okay, I, I want to know what the right path... I, that's that's a loss on me. I fucked up. That's one against me, but... Was it the silver then? Was it the silver? Was it the silver then that I messed up on? It doesn't add up to anyone else. It really does not add up to anyone else. Mr. Garrow, allow me to introduce you to Dr. Watson. Mr. Garrow, please do not be alarmed. We only wish to help you. You were under an intolerable stress, but it's over now. What? I can attest that your medication affected your judgment. You will not recall, but it caused you to temporarily lose control. Did I? Uh, are you saying I uh, killed Sir Rodney? I am afraid so. For as my doctor will persist in reminding me every single day, drugs can be harmful. You developed a malevolent obsession with Sir Rodney. Yes. You believed him to be unworthy, sacrilegious. Yes. Oh, do not distress yourself. Yes, he did. Prison is clearly not a suitable environment for you. What is my environment then? You're suffering from an acute form of melancholia, but you can and will be cured. All you need is rest, detoxification I will take care of every detail what how is it not him how is it not him how is it not him he's the only one that it adds up to the lantern discovery is the only one that makes sense ah <sighs> uh. No, 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 no. Like, I didn't think it was him, but he he is the... His is the only one that actually even adds up. It's the only one that really makes sense. Humiliation. But this doesn't make sense at all. Why would he kill him? Why would he kill him when he already had the biggest discovery in that field? He had it! He was way ahead of Blink of Blinkerhorn on it. How could it have been him? I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? Oh, I fear hey. <laughs> that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable. For you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You The consulting are... detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime. Yes, but also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that... The golden knife. How? I also like to dig, you see. 
I only followed your Why are you just training? handing him a murder it's weapon? Pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... <laughs> but now I am here. I get a feeling this is no wrong too. Who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn? Goodbye. That was wrong too, wasn't it? That was right? Ah! I should have gone with my gut instinct. I should have gone with my gut instinct to try to try to prove what. Why would he. <sighs> that makes no sense. He had already made the discovery before Sir Rodney. He could have brought in all the press. He could have announced it at the at the meeting. He could have announced it. He had already made the discovery. That makes no sense at all. I should have got my gut instinct, but I overthought it because frogwares. I'm docking you a point on that one. I really the fact that they already discovered the knife. Makes no sense. That makes no sense. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up that way. Wait a minute, why am I back here again? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's just see what the other guy does when we accuse the other dude. Fuck it, we're already here. It doesn't make sense. It really does not make sense. Like, why? Why would he kill him when he already had the biggest thing to rub in his face ever? Why did you bring me here? I saw that you released the others. Sir Gregory, I would ask that you listen carefully to what I'm intending to reveal to Inspector Lestrade. You murdered Sir Rodney Bentcliffe in cold blood, and you did it for money. What? No, that's not true. I am afraid that it is. The ingenious ghost weapon that you used only served to prove the premeditation. You're insane. It was a spectacular felony. Semicolon. One that intrigued the police and encouraged the press. Scandal is an excellent means of bringing the public's attention to your baths. That doesn't make any and sense. And eventually, of course, it brought me too. You have it all wrong. Well, I yeah. didn't expect you to possess much in the way of courage. May you be a fraction more inspired before you meet the hangman. Farewell, Sir Gregory. Yeah, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. I don't fucking know what this game wants. It doesn't... Like, none of these guys seem like really the ones who did it. None of these guys really seem like the murderers, as far as from like a, a profile point of view. I don't know. It really just doesn't... Add up to me, but you know what? Fuck it. It's a frog rares game, so I can't. I can't. I, I think it may be a bit too much to hope that I, I knock it on all. Though to be fair, this what that this was the gut instinct that I had. I just there's that one little clue that just doesn't add up to it. It's like why would you do that? Why would you kill him when you have like I'm you're in a prime position to take the credit? <laughs> that is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. I'm just skipping through the cutscene. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that the golden knife? How? I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? It... <laughs> but... <laughs> it's weird, I can skip the dialogue, but the scene still plays out. They just 
stare quietly at each other. It's weird. <sighs> Fine, we'll accept that decision. Even though I fucked it up. Most people sailed it the same way, too. Well, fuck. All right, well, that's... I, I'm, I'm now batting two out of three. So I guess next time we'll solve the Abbey Grange affair, <laughs> whatever that is. But um, let's just uh, grab a spot here. Until next time, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. And I hope you guys were able to find the solution to me better because I don't... That just doesn't feel right to me. Like none of those. I feel like I'm. I feel like there was a fourth option somewhere. I don't know. The fact that it tells me that, that one was right just doesn't. Mm. Mm. I. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh well. Until next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys will catch me again in the next one. Until that time. Catch you later, everybody.